Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLA 8 which is all about Introduction to Graphics Design. This will be the first quarter topic, week 4 and day 1. And this lesson is under the Matatag Curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to demonstrate an understanding of the capabilities of graphic design software like the Adobe Photoshop. The second one is to apply their prior knowledge of graphic design principles and software functionalities to analyze the visual elements in the example. And the third one is to develop an appreciation for the creative process and the attention to detail required in producing high quality graphic designs for the short review the students will engage by showing examples of graphic design projects and asking them to identify the tools used afterwards the students will answer the following processing questions For unlocking of content area vocabulary, ask the students to define the words they have listed in the graphic organizers. Adobe Photoshop is a powerful raster graphics editor developed by Adobe Incorporation. It is widely used by graphic designer, photographers, and digital artists for various purposes such as photo editing, image manipulation, graphic design, digital painting, and much more. Although it is possible to design and construct original graphics, Photoshop is mainly for editing images, not creating them. Photoshop is best used for working with images you already have, like editing, combining, and converting them. The following are the basic functions of Adobe Photoshop. So the first one is the layers. So Photoshop works with layers allowing users to stack different elements of an image on top of each other. This non-destructive editing approach enables user to make changes to individual elements without affecting the rest of the image. Another basic function of Adobe Photoshop is the image adjustments. So Photoshop offers a wide range of adjustment tools and commands for tweaking the colors, tones, and overall appearance of the image. This includes the adjustments such as brightness, contrast, levels, curves, who saturation, and more. Another basic function of Adobe Photoshop is masking and compositing. So mask allows users to hide or reveal portions of an image selectively. So this is particularly useful for combining multiple images or adjusting specific areas without affecting the rest of the image. Another basic function of Adobe Photoshop is color management. So Photoshop supports various color modes and color profiles allowing users to work with different color spaces and ensure accurate color reproduction across different devices. 
Another basic function of Adobe Photoshop is exporting and saving. So Photoshop enables users to save their work in various file formats including the PSD or the Photoshop document for retaining layers and editing capabilities as well as formats like JPEG, PNG, TIFF, etc. for sharing and publishing. Another basic function of Adobe Photoshop is integration with Adobe Creative Cloud. So Photoshop seamlessly integrates with other Adobe Creative Cloud applications like Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, and Adobe Lightroom, allowing users to work across different programs efficiently.